Kids with arthritis and rheumatic diseases might not have the energy to play sports or to go to the mall or even to dress themselves in the mornings. Mason was diagnosed with juvenile dermatomyositis when he was one and a half years old. By the age of five, the medications were no longer enough to battle his disease, and the dermatomyositis took over his body. Though he's only seven and still a kid, he can't do all the things he loves to do anymore. Kara is the Childhood Arthritis and Rheumatology Research Alliance. So we are a closely knit group of um, investigators representing all parts of the United States and uh, Canada. And it is a network that is devoted to doing cutting edge research so that we can improve the lives of children. And our ultimate mission is that we really want to prevent, treat, and cure, if we can, pediatric rheumatologic diseases. And those diseases include childhood arthritis, childhood dermatomyositis, childhood scleroderma, childhood lupus, and a variety of other unusual conditions that you only think about occurring in adults, but they actually occur in children too and can have absolutely devastating effects. It's very frustrating taking care of children with arthritis. Somehow it seems like this is a chronic disease, it's way under the radar. But in fact, arthritis is one of the top five chronic illnesses in children. It's almost as common as type one diabetes. So I have had arthritis for almost 15 years now. It affects a lot of the things that I do. You wanna be able to do whatever you want. And um, with this disease, it, it definitely takes its daily toll. I've been a doctor in this field for 30 years, and looking back, we used to see children who were terribly disabled from arthritis, who acquired lifelong disability and damage to their joints and organs. And we couldn't help them, you know. There was so little we could do. The frustrating thing is, we can treat this now, but children with arthritis still suffer in regions where there are no resources. In fact, there are some states where there are no practicing pediatric rheumatologists. And there is still so much we don't know. We don't know what causes these diseases, and we don't know how to cure them. It breaks my heart every time I have to tell a parent that I don't know how to treat their kid. I think that it's important for um, foundations such as CARA to um, help children who are struggling, such as I did, with knowing what's going on with their disease and figuring out what medications work and um, those that don't, because I've, um, I've experimented with so many drugs um, just because of simply not knowing what will work for me and my specific case and my body. If, if we knew more about what was going on with, um, in all aspects of the disease, I think it would be really beneficial for kids like me who, um, who are struggling with the disease. CARA researchers are currently conducting over 15 studies, including apple for lupus, treat for juvenile arthritis, rapport for systemic juvenile arthritis, rim for dermatomyositis, archive for Wegener's granulomatosis, and brainworks for cerebral vasculitis. So my name is Denise Robinson and I'm Angelina's mom and Angelina's three and a half now and one month after her birthday she um, started with her symptoms that ultimately led to her diagnosis of systemic um, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. We're here at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital for um, a follow-up study visit for the rapport trial and Angelina is in that um, so we're trialing the drug Rolanacep for her symptoms. Um, so this is week 12 of the study for us, and um, it's been absolutely a miracle for us. Um, just completely blessed 
from the study because she was having her symptoms. She was having rash and some um, joint pain. The steroids and the um, NSAIDs weren't really keeping it down enough mm -hmm. for her. So we, um, we enrolled in the study and honestly, it's like we have our kid back. And so without this, I don't know, I don't even wanna think about where we would be, but I, I feel completely lucky and blessed to have been, to be able to be a part of this and hopefully to continue to be a part of it.